Hello, my Yankee friends, and welcome to yet another installment of Christmas in July 2022. I'm so happy to be done my Christmas cards, and now I get to play and make a couple at a time. And before you run off on me because it's foiling, don't worry, you can follow along with gold embossing, okay? And I'm sure if you get creative, you can follow along because this is a super cute card. And if you are a foiler, I've got some information for you about some foils that you might find aren't working very well so stick around for that so here as you can see I like to trim all the way around my plate and this is important here what I do when I hinge is I try to find whatever part of the plate is closest to the edge of the card because of course we don't want to have the tape touching the card because then it transfers the foil now here I slowed this down to real time so you could see actually how slow I go through here. Um, I got a thing for teal, can you tell? <laughs> but I go really, really slow the first time through. <laughs> this is very slow. I'm not used to watching my videos in real time. And then back again very slow a little quicker than the first time because I'm impatient I don't know if you're impatient give the video a thumbs up because we are the same now on the next pass through I'm not gonna go too too fast like not fast enough to get a speeding ticket or anything but you know at, at regular speed let's call it what I've found and been told, I've found that some of the foils just are not foiling. They are not transferring. And I had someone look into it for me and they talked to a spell binders rep. And the info I'm getting is there is some issues with the manufacturer. And if it works, then it's old stock and the new stock isn't working. So I'm sure Spellbinders is working on that, but just be 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 forewarned okay that there is there 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 is some um foil issues if you've experienced them let me know what colors down in the comments and we can kind of get a chat going about what colors i've experienced as well so and the coloring here is not going to be the highlight of the show but i did include it because it's part of the process now i will go over what i do when i have to color right here something realistic and I just google a picture and there I found a picture and then I can kind of know where to put my colors and whatnot now with the grays I'll list on my blog each color I used as well um, but with the grays I didn't really want to color it in I kind of wanted to create lines and if you if you flick really well then great if not just go really slowly because I found there was a lot of feather lines um, in the actual bird so I wanted to make sure I am that now here um, I am going to color in his head and I'm going to show you a little trick when you have a black eye and you want to color black especially on like um, what are those animals called raccoons <laughs> raccoons and things like that I put a little dot with my Sakura gel and then a little half moon on the side of the eye and I'm going to bring it right up here and show you and I'll even freeze it so you can get a really good look so there it just popped the eye back out again now if you've got it really 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 dark then go ahead and make sure that you color with a maybe a black Sakura gel around there and then put some white over over top of it for the same effect okay or even clear clear um, you can put it on after and that actually I might even go and put it on I might do that I didn't do it but I may go afterward now and just put on a little bit of clear because eyes are glossy right I love my glossy eyes now I did one of these in brown and I just I just wasn't liking it so I went and did it in yellow and you can see there that I just kind of went darker in where the little lines are because that meant feathers and shading and lighter where there wasn't any and then just a little bit of uh, very very light C0 and C1 in where the white area is now here I wanted the snow to to twinkle and I only have white flocking so I thought what the flock I'm just gonna put some glitter in it and there I went I put some glitter in it and I let it sit for a little bit because I like it to really stick when it's tacky so I kind of put that to the side and pulled out this here I've cut out a bunch of different little pieces of foliage 
words are hard, that I've got, and I've got them from various different die sets and whatnot. But I just wanted to enhance this where he's sitting and really create, you know, that fluffiness and whatnot, and then be able to splatter it and get, you know, the snow going and whatnot. So that white though, I gotta tell you, I got this new paper over at Paper and Ink, and it is called Tonic Pearlescent Card. Um, it's a pearl white, and it is the prettiest dang paper. It comes in, oh my gosh, so many different flavors and colors. It was hard for me to not buy them all, and they're very inexpensive. I mean, even in Canada, they're only $4.95 and $5.95, which is so reasonable. So I'm sure if you're in the UK, it's even better. In the States, you're probably getting a better deal there. Check the link below. Everything you see, except all these little die cuts, you know, the little pieces that I used. I got them from various different die sets, but, and most of them are Stampin' Up! and I can't link to Stampin' Up! So I'm just going to start piecing things in. And as you can see, what I like to do is <laughs> that piece. <laughs> I had an issue with that piece. It kept wanting to stick to my hand. But I like to put the glue on the top of the piece because then as I piece it in, I can kind of see where it's going to go. I can lift my little bird up. Nothing is stationary. And then that one wants to stick to me. And I was just having a good old time there. But I'm putting them all in. And I'm just, I'm just kind of like, you know, eyeballing it. And on the brown bird card, I've got it over at the side. Side, and I kind of played with it um, off screen so I kind of knew where I wanted my pieces to go and if you do that take a picture so that you can do whatever you've got to do and come back and then take your pieces all off and glue them right so here even though this gold I wanted it to represent splatter and I put that upside down I'll fix it in a second I or not splatter snow I wanted it to represent gold snow I still have got a splatter I mean any self-respecting inky friend is splattering everything so of course course I used my champagne and my white. I will link to my video that I have for the splatters. It'll show you exactly how to make them and everything is linked there for the supplies. Now here, this was an afterthought, you know, splattering it all. I was like, of course I want to splatter it all, but the bird is there. And I would have had to do this anyway because um, I would want the little berries to be splattered. So again, the champagne and the white, and I'm just going in and my white, I actually added glitter to it. Um, just to, I, I use glitter on everything now in that white, but here I white embossed that with just a random sentiment. And this is how I cut my strips. I'm lazy. I, I think I picked up some dies. I should pull them out and put them on my workstation because then I would use them, but that's how I do it. Put the white paper in there, line it all up, go back, rewind, pause it. You'll see what I mean. Now I want to place that straight across the bottom of my card. I just felt that it was more grounded there and I didn't, I wasn't interfering with all the snow up top and whatnot you know what I mean I just I liked it down there because it didn't take away from everything at the top of the card and really you don't even need to have the sentiment on the front of the card it's just kind of a thing we all do and I'm sure if you see a card without a sentiment you're like oh <gasps> Where's the sentiment on the front of the card? Um, on the left-hand side of the screen, thank you to everyone that is there. Those are all website members that were YouTube channel members. We're moving all the memberships over to my um, website. So you get your name listed there if you are on the website because I am phasing out the YouTube memberships. But thank you all so much for your support. They are all enjoying five exclusive videos, including a masterclass every month. The besties are. Now there, I just wanted to kind of add a little bit more down in the bottom, so I just die cut another piece, bend them all up, and voila, there is your card. Bada bing, bada bam, how easy was that? Let me know how many Christmas cards you're gonna be making this year, and until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.